What's going on, guys? What's happening? Retro Collectibles. Hey, got a little project we got to get done tonight. Well, I, you know what? Let's just go over. I'll show you what it is. Ah, uh, the hammer. Any of you guys know what time it is up here? It's hammer time. Hammer. Oof, that was a hike. I've got to get like a little like a e-bike or a scooter or a friggin' golf cart. This is a big compound, man. Sorry about the detour. I figured on the way to the look see set here, I'd stop and show you guys the view of the hammer. So there, there you go. But it's hammer time. Let's see the project. You guys remember this. A couple weeks ago I got it. It had a leak battery. I cleaned it up, got it working again. The 115 scale, Back to the Future DeLorean by Diamond Select, I believe. Yeah, Diamond Select Toys, 115 scale. Now, this is licensed Back to the Future. It says Back to the Future Time Machine on the box. You will not see DeLorean anywhere on the box of the car because they're in some sort of copyright dispute or something like that. No DMC, nothing on the tires, no DeLorean on the back. Looks great except for that, right? But we're going to change all that right now. Look what we got. We got the DMC and DeLorean. I'm hoping the camera's picking it up because they're silver in color. DMC and DeLorean. And we've also got Goodyear Eagle GT for the tires. So we're gonna spruce it up, make it look a little bit more real. And I'm gonna show you guys. I'll show you guys, we'll go over and have a look, see what we're gonna be working with, what we need for this project. Now to complete this, you're gonna need the decals, of course, the subject that you're putting the decals on. Either a sharp X-Acto knife or something like that, or sharp scissors, or both. Uh, warm water, not hot water, or cold water, warm water. A paintbrush. Now these two things I just learned about in the last year. When I was a kid, we just used soapy warm water for it. These are decal solutions, micro set and micro salt. I highly recommend it. Now what these do is micro set, you put it on first, you apply it to the car, whatever you're putting it on. Micro set helps it stick, okay, it helps the decal be more pliable, stuff like that helps it stick to the car. Microsol, you put it on second, it's the second phase of it, and what Microsol does is it forms the decal and helps it set, but it forms it to the crevices and everything else on what you're putting it on, like it makes it look like it's painted on, because it sinks into the crevices, whatever, like it, it forms with the body of the car. So I highly recommend those because what a difference they make from the decals when I was a kid using just uh, soapy warm water. Wow, well worth the money guys, micro sol and micro set. You can get it at any hobby shop or you can get it um, on Amazon or places like that. Well, I got them all cut out. Luckily, the sender sends extra sets of them in case you screw up. But you only get one set for the tires, and those are a bitch to cut out. Wow. So I think I'm only going to do the tires on one side of the car tonight. Do the rest. That way the car looks good from one side. I can show you guys, and I'll do the rest tomorrow on my own when I'm not all burnt out. Probably in the morning before work. But let's have at it. Oh, one more thing. I'll fix the mic. Sorry about the noise, guys. One more thing that I recommend. You need these. So let's get cracking at this. That way I can get her done and have a shower and have a cheat and relax for the night. So 
I think we'll start on the DeLorean first. Another thing I should have is tweezers, and I always forget them, and I don't got them tonight, but I always make out okay. But we'll start with the hard one first. Hard one, easy one, which is the biggest one. DeLorean. So first we're going to put a little bit of micro set on the car here. Okay, actually I'm going to aim it down so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, first to go on is micro set. Okay, this stuff here, watch when you're dipping the brush into it, the bottle because it loves to spill over. Um, you could easily tip that bottle over. It just, you could just see it. It just wants to tip over. Eh? But don't be afraid to just slosh it on there either. Put a liberal amount, like don't drown it, but I mean, put enough on there that you could see it. Maybe I should have put it on after yeah, I'll leave the cap off. I'll just be careful. Maybe I should have put it on after I got the decal in the water, but you want to leave it for a minute just till it starts to loosen up, but you don't want it curling up so you can't handle it. Is that good? Oh yeah, these are good decals. Um, I'm going to put a link up for any of you guys with this car that want to give it a little dress up because it will make a huge difference. Oh yeah. That pops, guys. Oh. There we go. The challenge of that is getting it setting straight. There we go. There we go. Check that out. That is a hell of a lot better than the bare back bumper. Wow. Wow. So we will let that set on the car for a minute sometimes if there's a lot of micro set on there i will dab it off but with this these decals i don't want them moving around or anything so i don't even know if i want to touch it there doesn't look like there's a lot on it anyway get it off over here now you just you pat it you don't rub it because you'll move the decal just pat it right where it's at. Boom, perfect. Oh my goodness, that came out good. And these are good quality decals. I'm gonna have to put the link in the description, guys, because just the way that came off the decal paper too, like and nothing, the ink's not coming off on my hand or anything. And not to mention, you don't gotta worry about what color the backing is or any of that bull crap. Like it just, you apply it straight to the car. So you know what I'm gonna do, instead of putting micro, actually, you know what? I will micro saw it right now. That way it's setting while I'm applying the other ones. I was gonna say maybe I'll micro saw them all at once, but no, that way I could have it setting while I'm working on the other ones. But man, do those, those decals are good. See, if you got quality decals, it makes it a lot easier of an application too. I had them off eBay and you go to apply them, they move around, then you go to put them in place gently and no matter how gently you are, gentle you are, the ink is coming off on your fingers. Like they were just crap. Now gentle, so I'm not moving it. Oh yeah. Now the micro saw guys, this is the stuff. Oh yeah, see it makes it pliable. Um, oh, fixed. Micro saw is the stuff that helps it form into the crevices of the car and makes it look more like paint. Oh no, I screwed it up. Oh no. 
that's the good stuff about this stuff. The good thing about this stuff is you could, uh, like it makes the decal pliable again, so you can move it around. The only thing I'm worried about, like I said, is moving it too much and ink coming off of it, because you don't want that. Oh, I, yeah, I screwed it up. Okay, we're gonna get another decal. Good thing that we got uh, extras. Yeah, I moved it a tiny bit with the brush and I went to move it back and I overdid it. So, give me one second guys. At least we learned from our mistakes and we have extras, so give me one sec. Normally I would blame the decal, but nope, the buck stops here. Okay, so we gotta put some micro set on it, start her again. Micro set. See, micro set and micro sol, they're kind of a, well, they're not kind of, they're like a two part system. I don't think that you would want to buy one without the other. And man, like I was saying, it just, they make such a difference. When I was a kid, you used warm, soapy water, like with a drop of dish soap. And they did not look the same as these, I'll tell you that, using the uh, decal solutions. I'm hoping those tires are not going to give me a hard time. Yeah, and she's uh, sliding nice. What you want to do is try to just slide the paper out from under it. Oh, that went on perfect. For some reason, the front of it, the DE, just looks like it's a bit crooked on it, but it's not. I guess it's the way it's meant to be. Or maybe it's my eyes, but last one I tried to fix like that, I screwed it up. So I'm not screwing this one up. But that's bugging me though, because it does look crooked. Oh, damn. Thank God for glue. You know what? That doesn't look too bad. That's my eyes. That's my eyes. And it was the corner of the decal throwing me off. Okay, so now... Actually, we're going to let that set for a minute and we're going to do it the opposite way of what I said I was going to do and we're going to put the other ones on. Yeah, that's the thing I snapped, but that's easy to fix just right here. Got to watch where you're grabbing these models too, guys. Especially uh, die-cast ones, you'll snap stuff off easy, Jesus. Okay, so we're going to do the DMC on the front next while the DeLorean on the back is setting. So we're gonna get into the micro set again. We're not gonna do the micro sole until all of them are on. And like I said, I'm gonna do two tires on the one side tonight because they're a bitch to cut out. But just so I could show you guys how the car will look if you do these decals from the one side. Cool thing about this is they did not put the DMC on the car but the little plate is there for the DMC so this is going to be perfect as long as I can line her up I just I don't like that with the lid off because these are so easy to dump out dump over okay come on come on Oh yeah, get up there. Oh, this is gonna screw us. Yeah, it came off the plate, went on the grill. Oh, come on, can I get it? No, that's a goner. 
Okay, good thing we got extras. Good thing we got extras. So that'll be a two try one too. So the tires are gonna have to be a one shot deal, guys, because that's, uh, yeah, the tires, you only get one for each one, so. But what I did there was when I was sliding it off, you're supposed to put it on the center plate and it went down into the grill a little bit. If that grill wasn't there, I could have just slid it back into place, but oh no. But at least now I know. So give me a sec, guys. Okay, we're good. Got her cut out, so let's start over. Um, another thing I forgot too, I got dinner waiting for me. Nice pierogies and bacon and onions and mmm. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a shower, eat dinner. It shows how much I, uh, I love you retro maniacs. So I come home and just get right into this, so. I can provide you guys an entertaining video. Okay. So. Well, it's a good thing too, guys, because this is something that when I'm dead after work, normally I wouldn't be like, oh, let's get into it. I'd be like, oh, I'll do it on the weekend, and then the weekend will come, and I'll end up friggin' tied up with something else. And So it's kind of good that it, you guys put the urgency in me to rock and roll. Uh, we got it. Well, we didn't get it, but it's not in the grill. So as long as... Okay, you know what'll help move that over? It's a little bit crooked. Like, it's not crooked, but it's off-center. What'll help is the micro saw, because it makes it more helps it move around it's more pliable stuff or was that the micro set I gotta remember setting solution softens decals and improves the nation okay you know what maybe we'll use the micro set again We got it. Oh, we got it. A little bit more. Oh, yeah, we got it. Now you could see a little bit of the end of the decal paper, but you won't see that after I micro saw it because it makes everything, it softens and makes the decals conform to the contours so yeah that came out good actually um, can it be moved over a bit more or is that no that's that's good that's centered and everything oh, maybe up a bit there Come on, Neil, don't fuck it up by... Sorry, guys, don't screw it up by moving it around like that. My potty mouse gotten a lot better since YouTube videos, actually, because normally before I would be doing videos, every second word would be F, and I didn't even realize it. It's horrible. My wife wasn't happy about it. So micro saw. We'll micro saw the DMC and the DeLorean on the back at the same time. Oh yeah, that looks way better than just the blank on the front, guys. Um, yeah, now we just let it uh, set, but it won't take long to do that. 
And we're gonna get those tires done, but is that not a lot better than just blank? Oh, we forgot the micro saw the back, but we'll get that done too. The DeLorean looks crooked, guys, but it's just the way it's supposed to sit. Like the DE is just off center no matter what, it's just the way the decal is, I guess. But that's how I screwed up the first one, but it is. Oh no, it looks pretty straight, except for the DE which is made like that but looks a heck of a lot better than blank wow I am impressed yeah okay so now for the hardest ones guys okay so we will get the micro set so we'll do the driver's side for actually Which side do I show in? Oh, you know what? The toy room, I show the passenger side. So, just the way my setup is. So, we'll do the passenger side first. So, I think what we should do is start on the larger tires on the rear. Because it's larger decals. That way we can kind of warm up. So, bust out the micro set here. Yeah, being able to get decals for stuff like this is amazing. I've seen people even get them for action figures, like some of the Back to the Future action figures, like uh, Nike swooshes for Marty McFly's feet. Just, you know, stuff that you wouldn't normally think about detail-wise, but it's got to be there type thing. Okay, so... And of course, it's got to be on something that doesn't stay still, a tire. Wow. Yeah, I know this is gonna this is gonna be a bitch, but we'll see. Might not be like it's. Uh, I was looking in the ad and I said, "How the hell are you gonna do that? Like, do you cut the decal in little sections and do it?" to get the curve in it, but he did them already curvy, so. And they come off the paper okay, it's just up to me, like, uh, the first one didn't screw up because of uh, the decals. Buck stops here for that. Wow, they come off the paper so easy, but it's almost, almost too easy. Oh yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Oh, I got it. Wow. First shot, guys, I got it. Unreal. <clears throat> One shot deal, got it. It was not as hard to like apply as I thought. Wow, that was probably the easiest one out of all of them, and I thought it'd be the hardest. Crazy. I'll very carefully pat that huge dollop of micro set off of it. Oh yeah, that can't, I, that's perfect. Yeah, that came perfect. Boom. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. I thought it was a little bit off center, but the ear is a tiny bit bigger than good, it looks like. That is, wow. It's really going to dress her up. Okay, so where is the little part? little parts not so little because it's going on the big tire but and the car actually sits in a way that I can do these nicely too which is a bonus like the tires anyway the other one was awkward like the uh, front and back was kind of awkward but 
this you could gently sit it on the mirror gently I'm saying so you don't wreck the mirror liberal code of micro set don't be shy with the micro set okay I cannot believe the first tire one went on easier than the rest. Crazy. That that if the next one's a lot smaller though, because it's the front tires, so we'll see how that goes. Oh okay. I forgot. So this is gonna be upside down. So I've gotta turn the Goodyear upside down. And apply that right side up. Okay, I gotta do it kind of quick before the micro set wears off. So the Eagle GT is going on right now on the DeLorean. And knowing how easily these come off the paper, you get used to them. So I'm gonna do the slide that well you're supposed to slide the paper from under anyway but sometimes you do it kinda however it works come on no oh, you're gonna screw me like that right the decals going on but the paper is still under it come on Oh no. Oh. You guys just watched the greatest save in the history of me ever doing decals. Wow. That thing was twisted up. Wow, I cannot believe I fixed that. Hmm. There. I was saying I fixed it, but I had spoke too soon. But there we go. Now she looks right. Wow. I cannot believe how much better that's going to look than the blank tires. Yeah, if, if I, I total recommend anybody that has the this 115 scale diamond select that doesn't have any of the Goodyear licensing or anything on it highly recommend these decals I'm gonna put the link in the description and just before I put the link in the description actually guys I will say that over time these might sell out or whatever like the, the seller might not sell them anymore the seller might disappear off ebay the link breaks over time but i'm gonna put the link up and you guys can use it till she's gone you know it's there and then that way if you have one of these you can get decals now before they're gone I was gentle with that with the uh, bristles because I could see that it just wanted to move same with this one. Oh yeah. Boom. Boom. There we go. So we do the front tire and then that's it. I'll show you guys how she looks. With better shots that is. but.
Looks a lot better with the, uh, oh yeah. Totally changes it. Totally changes it. Gonna have to put a little bit of Microsol on the D on the DeLorean because it looks like it's coming up and it's supposed to be conformed. Well, there we go. There we go. No, she's good. Okay, one more tire, guys, and then mission accomplished here. Now, with my luck, with being how tired I am and with my dinner waiting, this is the one that's really going to screw us. And, uh, yeah, we only have one for the tire, but knock on wood, that doesn't happen. Okay, we're praying that doesn't happen because we want the car to look good. We've only got one set of decals for the tires. It took two of each to get the other ones right. And don't forget, guys, just because I get these two tires right tonight, don't forget, I still have to deal with the other side. So I think this time for Lux purpose, guys, we're going to do the Eagle GT first. Because we did the big part last time, the Goodyear, the Goodyear last time. So this time we're going to do the Eagle GT. And I almost forgot to put Micro Set on the tire. So we'll get both of them on there with micro set and then we'll micro saw both of them at the same time and we're good and we'll be good put that way the hell over there that way I could leave the lid off of it and I won't spill it because those are notorious for spilling those little bottles okay so the water is getting a little chilly too, but I'm still going to try it. We're so close to being done, so... That's not bad, it's actually... Lukewarm, maybe? It's supposed to be warm, it's not supposed to be hot or cold. So yeah, I wouldn't call it either hot or cold, I would... It's in between, I'd say. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Oh! We got it guys, one shot, unreal, we got it, okay, gently, gently, fucking gently with this here, sorry about the language guys, wow, okay, so that's done. Yeah, total, if you got the Diamond Select DeLorean, you got to do this. They're about 18 bucks. Whatever. Okay, so, where's the big guy? That's not the big guy. Where's the big guy? Oh, right, there he is. Okay. I was looking for it to be much bigger because I'm used to the back tire. Okay, so we got to rotate the tire around. And here we go, guys. Oh, we got a micro set it. Got to micro set it first, and then we're going to micro saw the both of them, and then we're all done. Man, I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm getting into this all fucking burnt. Sorry about the language, guys. All burnt out after work. Usually something like decals would be for when I'm fresh, but... I'm bored, I've been waiting on it. Plus it's a Vidya. New Vidya for you guys. Plus it gets her out of the way. Gets her out of the way. I don't like loose ends. Okay. So. This is the last one. Well, not the last one, the last one of the night. But you know what? I have two more tires to do on the other side. I'm a lot more confident now. The tires were easier to do than the other ones. Um, the trickiest part is the small one for the tires. You have to watch when you're sliding it out that it doesn't curl, curl up on you. But now I know a trick for that. 
Oh, I might grab it from the side. Oh, don't do that. Got it. Boom. So much better with those guys. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta send the original owner uh, this video. He, he would approve, I think. He would approve. Original owner of this owned a real DeLorean. Uh, he showed me a picture of it. Believe it or not though, he said it was an unreliable piece of crap. For reliability, that is. Still the coolest, one of the coolest cars around, but I mean. Okay, so now to micro saw the front tire. Micro saw, just to remind you what it does, it softens the decals to conform to irregular surfaces for a painted on look. And yes, it's not BS because again, the decals when I was a kid, just using warm soapy water, uh, big difference. Okay. The micro sole, you can kind of hammer it on because it's helping it conform. Oh, see, it helps it conform, it softens it. It just started moving my little Eagle GT, but I caught it. That's awesome. The Goodyear, just a little piece of it looked a tiny bit off center and I literally brushed it into place with the micro saw on the brush without even having to touch it. That's awesome. I wonder if I could do that with this. If it starts to screw up, I'm going to stop though. But Yeah, we're not going to mess with it. Oh, it did actually fix it a little bit. Yeah, but I don't want to start taking the ink out of it because I see a little tiny streak. So yeah, I'm not going to... But yeah, it did straighten it out a bit. I would keep doing it if I didn't see that it was about to start taking ink out. Oh yeah, what a difference, guys. Okay, let's uh, go over and check it out. We're at the look-see set, but let's go over to the, uh, well, my freezer, for frick's sakes, my freezer, okay? So I always promote good products or things I believe in. That's where they came from. That's the actual seller on eBay that it came from right there. Just in case the link breaks so you can contact them, I will put a link in the description. Even his business card's awesome. Look at that, guys. It's the one that says bad mother. Yeah, that's awesome. But look at the difference this thing makes. Picture that just black before. Now here's the before with the other side. Kind of boring, right? What a difference a few decals makes. Wow. Such a difference. And the tire ones were the easiest ones out of all of them to put on. Who'd have thunk it? 
still can't help but think that DeLorean looks a tiny bit crooked to me, but no matter how I tried fixing it, that DE just sits like that. I have more of those. Maybe I'll put one on tomorrow, see if I can get it straight again. But you got the idea, guys. Like, tell me that does not dress this thing up big time. Made it proper again. Eh? One last look here. Giuliano, I know you're going to watch this video. What a difference, eh, buddy? the way it's supposed to be. It's a DMC DeLorean. Right there. Boom. That looks amazing. One last press here. Oh. Time circuit's on. Flux capacitor blinking there. There we go. Flux capacitor fluxing. It's fluxing. Let's go back to the uh, 905 Toy Museum now. Uh, back where she belongs. Frig out of there, Biff. Good. You leave that almanac alone, deadbeat. What a difference that made for 20 bones, eh, guys? Wow. To well, not even. Like 17 or 18, if you live in Canada, like 17 or 18 Canadian. For that kind of difference? Wow. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description, guys, in case you have a Diamond Select Toys 115 scale DeLorean and you want to make it correct. Because that wasn't correct before. It sucked like that. I understand with licensing, but come on, you can't make it like that without saying DMC and DeLorean and all that. Come on. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please smash the like button for me big time. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you like kind of stuff with collectibles and little projects like that. And share. And as always, guys, happy hunting.